Kahuliaku, Kahulamai, Kahulale. Beautiful beaches, breathtaking sunsets, stunning natural wonders. A normal day in Kona, Hawaii, home to more than 74,000 Latter day Saints who look forward to see the leaders of their faith. We're making a crown flower lei. We have special leis for President Nelson and Sister Nelson. This is hand-picked. Hawaii was the first stop for Russell M. Nelson, President of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and Elder Garrett W. Gong of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, who accompanied with their wives, made their way to the Big Island to begin their nine-day ministry to the Pacific that will take them to six more countries in that region. Before his arrival, anticipation was high, especially for Dylan Liu, who prepared to have a once-in-a-lifetime meeting. I'm gonna see the prophet. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, I don't know, I'm kind of excited. I've never like, met the prophet before. He's coming here to the Big Island. Soldiers in the army, there's a bright brown The devotional was held at the Kona Hawaii Stake Center, where the senior church leader spoke to thousands of people. Their message of love and hope was shared as well with Latter-day Saints in Hilo that joined via broadcast. God is our Father. He loves us, and He wants us to have joy. He does want us to have immortality and eternal life, but he wants us to choose this course. He doesn't force anyone. He honors our agency. And he hopes that we will choose to come home to him. The most important name, in addition to our own names, that any of us can have and be part of is the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. During his remarks, President Nelson shared 10 things that he has learned during his 10 decades, touching on several topics, such as the restoration of the Church of Jesus Christ and personal prayer. We may communicate with our Heavenly Father in prayer, and this is real. We can pray to Him at any time, day or night. We don't have to charge our batteries or pay a service fee. And then as you pray, May I suggest you take a little time to listen. Also in attendance were some of Hawaii's local community leaders that have grown strong relationships with the Church of Jesus Christ. As soon as I took his hand, you know, it, it just has a very special light about him. The Prophet's messages are so universal and apply to so many walks of life that it's really a great opportunity for us to be able to hear what he had to say. Hello. And for the young members of the church that had an opportunity to meet with the prophet, his visit leaves them full of hope for the future. I felt like, you know, he was speaking directly to us and he just gave us some amazing key points that, you know, we I know we just need to apply them in our lives to to just be happy. They articulated this, what we believe in is, and see is and identify as the spirit of aloha. The Latter-day Saint leaders are traveling next to Apia, Samoa and will conclude their ministering journey in Tahiti on May 24th.